Hey guys, welcome to the Prime Slider and on tutorial. In today's video, we'll talk about how to customize the Omatic Slider widget to make your landing page more awesome. Let's start with dragging and dropping the widget inside the page. Omatic Slider has a wide background image paired with the subtitle, title, description text, and navigation arrows. By default, the slider animation makes the slider slide like a box when clicking those arrows. On your left, you can see the options panel where the slider items are listed and it gives you the options to add more slides. For now, let's get into the slider settings and turn off the autoplay button. This way the slider will not move on its own. Back into the slider item section. Let's click on an item here and you can change the subtitle, title and image of the current slide. First, let's change the slide image. Then go for the title and the subtitle of the slide. Once you have done that, you can move into the optional subsection and then edit the description text and title link for that item. Like that you can add your required number of slides into the slider. Next, inside the additional settings section, you can customize the slider height for a better fit on your page. The content vertical spacing option lets you reposition the title and subtitle over the slider. There are a bunch of switchers in here that help you show or hide certain elements from the slider like the title or text. Also you can customize the image size from the options at the bottom. Now the slider settings section holds a couple of switchers like the autoplay, pause and hover, grab cursor, loop, animation speed and observer option, mostly for animation controls. Alright, moving on to the style tab. The first section here lets you add an overlay color to the slider background. The default margin is minimized a bit and you can zero the fill to spread it to the max width of the container. For the next part, you can go into the title section. First, let's make the title white in color. Then select a brighter color for the title background. You can add borders around the background and then modify the border width and color. At this point, you might want to customize the padding to properly space the title background area. Then zero the margin. Now do the font styling through the typography option. After that, go to the subtitle section. Same as the title, let's change the text color to white and apply the same background color as the title. Then just follow the same pattern, add border, adjust the width and customize the padding. Then customize the typography to change the font style. The other subsection here is for the line beside the subtitle. Now let's change the color of the line, adjust the line width and height. After that you can move into the text section. Let's change the text color. You may as well as add a background color for the text. Then customize the typography option for font styling. You'll find another line above the text and you can also customize that. After that, the navigation section offers 23 arrowheads under the arrows icon option. Choose the one suited for your landing page and then go for the colors. Since we are using orange as a prime color, let's add that to the arrows background too. Then add a solid border with a thin border width. Let's zero the border radius fields. Now adjust the padding around the arrows. Adjust the icon size and the space between the arrows. For hover, you can simply flip the colors of the arrows and make it awesome. That's how you can easily customize the Omatic Slider widget to create engaging, stunning and colorful slides for your landing page. Mm -hmm. 
Well, that's all for this video. Hope this video helped. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel and get updates on new tutorials and tips videos. So, stay safe and see you next time.